Let's balance the equation Li3PO4 plus NaBr, lithium phosphate plus sodium bromide. We'll also take a look at the type of reaction. So let's start with the type of reaction. We have lithium here, and lithium and sodium, they're just pretty much changing places. The lithium starts with the phosphate, but it ends up with the bromide. The sodium, it starts with the bromide, but now the sodium is with the phosphate. That's a double displacement reaction. Before we balance, let's take a look at the states here. Lithium compounds in general, they're very soluble. So we have lithium phosphate, that's soluble. Lithium bromide is also soluble. Sodium compounds, very soluble too. So sodium bromide, that's going to be soluble. And sodium phosphate is soluble. And since everything is soluble, we don't have any reaction taking place. All of these are dissolved, part, broken apart as ions here. Same on this side. So we really don't have a reaction here. But let's balance it anyway. We have three lithiums, and we're going to use a trick here. We have a phosphate here and a phosphate here. We're just going to count that as one thing. So we have one phosphate, we have one sodium and one bromine. Product side, one lithium, one phosphate, three sodiums, and then just the one bromine. So this makes it a little bit neater. You get the same answer either way. Let's start by balancing the lithiums. We could put a three as our coefficient here, one times three. Those are balanced. One times three for the bromine. We get three of those. And then all we need to do is put a three as our coefficient in front of the NaBr. One times three. Those are balanced. One bromine times three. Those are balanced. And we're done. This is the balanced equation for Li3PO4 plus NaBr. And again, the type of reaction here, this is a double displacement reaction. But because everything is aqueous, there's really no reaction taking place. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.